You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV iPad app reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're gonna take a look at an app called 100 Cameras in One for the iPad. Now this was released by Trey Ratcliffe, who is the host and creator of Stuck in Customs, a very popular photography blog that we love, and I highly recommend you zipping over there and looking at his stuff. Well, this iPad app has been getting a lot of talk, so let's get a closer look at exactly what 100 Cameras in One does for the iPad. 100 Cameras in One allows you to quickly add a bunch of different image effects to an image just by swiping. So to get started, what we'll need to do is go into your library and load in a photo. So I'm gonna go into my saved photos and grab a shot of uh, the river where I grew up in Hamilton, Montana. And you can see instantly there are some effects applied and I can just swipe this right to left to see different images. And there are a hundred of these loaded in. And so if I wanted to, I could just go through all 100 of these until I found something that I liked. Now, obviously, if you're looking for an application that allows you to quickly add a consistent effect, this is not the most efficient way. So this is just something that's really fun to do. But once you do find something that you like, you can actually add that as one of your favorites. So I'm gonna keep swiping through here until I find something that I like and I'm just gonna keep going. So let's pretend like I like this one. So what I can do is I can tap on here and I can uh, push this star right here and that adds that as a favorite so I can always come back to that later. Now what happens here is I can also click this effects button here and there are all kinds of effects that have been pre-made and they're named something like the boiling anger swallowed deep in ancient simplicity of zen and peace. So I'm not quite sure how those names were created, but there they are. And so we're gonna choose the warm chocolate that we ate slowly. And there's the effect. Uh, and so I can go right to that. Now, once I have that in here, I can start playing with it. And so we have this little thing that says yin and another one that says yang. And so yin uh, adjusts how the texture on the image looks. And so I can add more texture, I can add less texture. And then also I can choose how that texture is applied by clicking down here and you can see that we have hard light. We can choose overlay, multiply, luminosity, etc. And so if you're familiar with Photoshop, you're familiar with how those apply uh, the overlays to the image itself. And then what the Yang does, the Yang actually adjusts the image layered on top of itself. And so you actually have two uh, images here of the mountains. Uh, and so I can adjust how that looks and add a little bit more, a little bit less. And then, then again, I can change uh, how that, that layer is applied, either it's hard light or multiplied or overlaid. And so just by changing that, sometimes I can get different effects. Um, and then there's this other thing that's called glow. And what glow does is it adds a magical glow that's unpredictable, just like life. That's what that says in the instructions. So when I click this, you can see that I get this uh, interesting glow here. Now, the cool thing is I can also uh, click on this and get more options. And so I can add a vignette to this image. I can adjust the contrast, I can adjust the brightness. And once I have that, I can even click add effect. And so that adds the effect there. And then it'll take this current effect and use it as a new original to create 100 new effects. And so that's really cool. And so then I can go in and uh, add another effect on top of that and another effect on top of that. And so you can uh, just create these works of art based on adding effect upon effect upon effect. You can also rotate things and you can reset them if you get to a place that you're thinking, ah, this is not really what I'm going for. But once you have everything done, what you can do is you can share this by clicking up here. You can share it on Facebook, you can share it on Twitter, Flickr, Dropbox, Smug Mug, you can even print. And it also has full Instagram integration so you can send this on over to Instagram. Now the other thing that this has built in is the ability to uh, learn all about stuff. And so this is the overview and you get some groovy music here. There's an about us page that allows you to look and see what Trey's all about. And then there's a bunch of videos here where uh, Trey and different people actually show you how to use this app. So there's all kinds of information. And then lastly, there are some options in here so you can uh, log into your different accounts, Smugbug, Dropbox, etc. Well, that's 100 cameras in one for the iPad. Check it out for yourself and you'll see it's a lot of fun to play around with it. Well, if you have an iPad app that you'd like us to review, please send your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com and we just might use your suggestion on an upcoming episode. Well, thanks again for joining me and I'll see you again in the next episode. 
This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.